but yeah you will see this is a super capacitor 2.7 volt 500 for large so it was 10 pieces so i just align it to have about uh, 13 to 14 volts so if you look at this meter you will see this is the remaining volt in the capacitor in the cap so here now this is a 12 volt i don't know if you can see it very well 12 volts about uh, 60 watts 12 volts bulb this is about uh, 300 to 350 watts dc motor 12 volt so now i'm gonna use this in my 12 volt battery to charge this capacitor and power this load and know how long it can stay on this dc motor to see how effective the super capacitor is so let me do it now so i have connected the super capacitor to the battery so that it can see how fast it charge so it will almost reach 12 volts you can see how fast it's absorbed the charge so i think let me remove it, the terminal of the battery I'm gonna remove the terminal of the battery and see how far I think it is almost charged. 2.5. So let me remove the terminal of the battery. I remove the terminal, but still, this is the terminal of the super capacitor. Let me connect this bulb and see how far it will shine. So. Let me connect this bulb to the terminal. Sorry, let me turn this off. See how bright it is. This is the power in the cap. As the voltage is going down, the bulb brightness is also going down. See how the cap is discharging. This is about 60 watts, 12 volt bulb. See how fast the cap is charging. So align the capacitor in service. So the brightness is going down. Five volts. Four volts. Four point eight. Four point seven. Let's see. We're going down. So now, um. The bulb is also almost going down. So I'm going to charge the capacitor, super capacitor again. You can see, uh, maybe you can see it now, 2.7 volt, 500 for large. So to run this uh, 300 watt motor. So by then I will put my cramp meter in a DC amp. So to know how many amp the motor will draw from the capacitor. So let me charge the capacitor first. So now I will charge my super capacitor. So this is the terminal of the 12 volts. Uh, DC motor, you can see there is no another external connection. So let me check and see how many amp the motor consume. Three. 